what's up viewers and subscribers welcome back to another video it's been a while but you know things take time and we are back so um i was to do a live um on sunday but it wasn't possible due to um internet issues uh one bugger thing so yeah um i'm i'll be doing my predictions like this so tune in for a, a full series I'll, I'll be doing all of the, the the sprint events sprint events from 400 meters hurdles down to the 100 meters but even the the, the radius I'll, I'll be doing those two so tune in it will be a good long series i'll be doing each event episode by episode so stick to it and like the the, the videos subscribe to the channel so yeah first and foremost we will kick it off with the men's 400 meter hurdles so in this one it is really stuck but you know you have the top three the big three in this event Ray benjamin carson wow alison dos santos the man those three are expected to put on a master clash as they usually do this year it has been a very open event however right benjamin has been the what you would call a favorite um so far this season so you you can look for great things from him but my 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 top three is probably just as it was over use um past years so i start from from number one to number three number one I will not take Karsten Warholm off that gold medal spot. He has proven himself over and over he will improve for the Olympic finals. And if you look at his last race, the one um he, he did with Ray Benjamin and Alice de Santos, he did not run his usual race strategy. He was a bit lazy on the back stretch and he, hence he, he did not create that sliver of separation he needed in the home stretch to then even pull away from benjamin so benjamin took that one my silver medalist is benjamin he is it's very self-explanatory he has been having a wonderful season i probably do expect him to pb uh, but as well as uh Warham in that finals the finals will be a big one a good one possibly a world record so the 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 four meter world record um as you know 45 94 person home um as that one his personal best this season however narrate we see which he lost on home side to alison de santos he ran 46.70 so that that placed him third in the world rankings but i do expect that to change from olympics as you can see in his races he's, he has been working on something new it's just left to see how he will implement it in the finals benjamin uh he is the world leader um i think it's 46.43 somewhere there about he, he, he is out on the world leader either of alison santos now you see the third spot as much as it is secure is it yeah it is secure in my mind it is secure however there are challenges to that you you, you see um the improving Mali james king rapidly improving this season and and, and maybe it's because of personal bias because of um jamaica Ante, but malik james king he is improving very fast very steady over the course of the season in all events he has been competing in uh also you have the the junior world record holder uh Rashawn clark he has been having um a very tame season so far but he as you can see over the last few races he has been improving he, he, he clocked uh 47 73 uh 73 or 70 um not too long ago in his last race so it is expected that he will improve on his personal base more than likely at the olympic um in the finals 
as well as james king so that jamaican record is looking under threat and it is looking to be something under 47 seconds so Alison descendants i will i will put him in the the third uh place spot he will get the bronze medal however it is not as clear cut as we might think yes yeah, so on the women's side no things get as simply as it gets complicated as the top two very easy to call it's just about which order so earlier this year the, the debate has been growing about who will win the women's 400 meter hurdles at the olympics sydney mccarthy Mavroni is the olympic champion the defending olympic champion but the rapidly improving steadily improving femke ball is also one of those first to look out for so we saw sydney break the, rail, the world record in uh, oregon all her, her, her fastest times have been done in oregon over the 400 meter hurdles so it is it is quite difficult to judge how she will run outside of the states we know she will run good as she did uh break the world record previously in tokyo and then <clears throat> she went on to break it again in eugene the year after however femke ball has been improving over the last three or so years very rapidly very steadily and is willing to give sydney a good run for her money come the olympic finals give it that both of them are into the finals so that would be the, the best scenario both of them in the finals hot trace all of that so femke ball a few weeks ago ran a personal best european record and all that uh she it, the, the track let me say this first was at altitude so uh, i think it was about 1000 um degree above sea level or something 1000 meter above the, um, sea level so people have been ifing and butting as to whether she will be able to pull it off when she takes it down or not however she did go 51.30 at uh the london london diamond league so she does have the speed in her legs and is expected to keep that sharp form or even improve on it come the olympics to give sydney around for money so i have personally i have femke ball taking the win femke is looking real dangerous so obviously the silver medal for me is with with miss um lebron the world record holder i i'm not sure if the world record will be broken the the power track is new i haven't uh, seen um any times in it so far so i'm not sure how fast the track really is guy you know say some track carry a different level of aura when it comes to speed and fast times and all that so it's a bit hard to call if the world record will, will be broken on the track or maybe later um on another track so it's it's yet to to, to be predicted but at the start of the olympics we will know how fast the track is um the third place the bronze medal is where things get a bit dicey because it's really up for grabs as to who will get it. uh currently russia clayton she ran the, the second fastest time in jamaican history at the national trials and will be looking to improve on that come first so she is currently sits third on the world rankings um so it's kind of difficult to count her out however you have people like Anna Krakow, Shamir Little. Um, well, I'm not really. I can't really recall who made the US team. It's not there in memory right now. But if it is as expected, I do expect expect um, Clayton to win. Well, to win the bronze medal. Let me 
be clear on that. Yeah, I do expect her to win the bronze medal. So let me know what you guys think about think about these um, predictions uh, until the next episode will be which will be dropping shortly. Got the ticks out. <laughs>